<laughs> you really put together one hell of a machine here. Wow! Holy! It put down 131 horsepower to the rear wheel and 148 foot pounds of torque. As you know, our passion for motorcycles is real. And we always have motorcycles coming in out of this place here, mainly because Eric likes to barter details for parts and other things. So, <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about this beautiful creature right here. This is a 2001 Dyna, and it's the FXDX. Right. Started life as an 88 and it is pumped up now to a 124. <laughs> the work was done by Eastside Speed Shop. This paint is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Jade Sun Glow. I love this color. Oh, yeah, I, I don't even, I, in the sun, it's insane. It is insane. It's such an awesome, awesome color. We do have suspension work done on it, back and front. We obviously, you can see the transmission here is pumped out. It's the Jim, <laughs> the Jim's Fat Five transmission. These are the, the legends. These are 14 inch rear shocks. The front is the Racetech uh, springs with gold uh, valve emulators. And as you can see guys, I know that I look ridiculous walking around talking about motorcycles in a sundress, but we are on a schedule today and right after this recording, we're heading to my cousin's birthday party. Happy birthday, Sam. Yes, yeah, so guys, I actually started off by uh, doing a quick wash of this. The degreaser, scrubbed everything down. And also, uh, after that, I did the nice buff, shined all the black. Look how like, shiny this yeah. all comes out too. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but the shine of it all is like absolutely amazing when this thing is, like look at all like this, I wanna call it rhino liner because that's what it looks like, but you know, the... Yeah, he had it, uh, he had it done to match, um, I believe, all the engine. Yeah. It's all powder coated, everything. <clears throat> so, one thing I noticed about when I was riding it is the brakes are amazing. Look at the size of these rear wave rotors. In yeah, the back. so Eric took it for a ride. Yeah. And from what I heard, I wasn't there, but from what I heard, <laughs> he was a little scared. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, that's scared. I was just over, I was just I'm so just impressed. So back. impressed with this thing. I you'll notice from the ride, my reactions are real. It is awesome. So this thing has road glide front Brembos. Road Guide Master Cylinder on the front. As you can see, I talked about on the ride, no mirrors. It kind of drove me crazy yeah. riding this thing, not yeah. being able to see. Uh, we have no turn signals, no controls, nothing like that. We got a little brake light right here in the back. <laughs> uh, it so is, how was that ride? It, I mean... it was amazing. Guys, so my first impressions of this bike are, is this thing is sick. The riding position is absolutely so comfortable. Bars are at the perfect height. It just has globs and globs and globs of torque. I mean, you could just be top gear and just roll in it. It's amazing. I grew up riding uh, crotch rockets with a lot more, with a lot of horsepower, but I've never rode a Harley with 140 horsepower. So, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Woo! This thing's insane. It's so weird without mirrors. <laughs> I keep looking for them, but they're just not there. You can tell this thing just wants to stand up. I'm not gonna wheelie his bike. I'm curious to see how it's gonna do on some turns. I know that's what this thing is really built for and that's what the owner loves riding. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go hit some turns. No speedometer, don't need that where we're going. Jesus Christ! 
That's like half throttle. I can already feel how nimble it is. It's wild. You get used to riding a bike with forward controls and apes on it and you realize how poorly they really do handle. But that's what we love guys, right? Like this thing just lays over like a street bike. It's wild. It even counter steers like one. Of course I get stuck behind people going 10 miles per hour. Uh, we're going to really see how this thing pulls. Wow! Holy shit! It just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. I gotta say, I feel right at home with the, like the dirt bike style bars and the pegs right underneath me. Brings back memories of riding in the trails. This thing is a monster. The, the power that this thing has is just absolutely insane. For people looking for a comparison, I would say if you rode a 125cc dirt bike and then you step up to a, one, a 250 two stroke, the difference between a 125 and a 250 is like the difference between my 88 and this 124. Right. So it put down 131 horsepower to the rear wheel and 148 foot pounds of torque. It's really nice. It's very grippy. Yeah, that's, that's a Lucky Dave seat, the step up seat, gripper. It uh, Arlen S, oil pressure gauge. There's the, I know I was asking Anthony about it the other day, this uh, stabilizer. That's pretty cool Steering how that Steering stabilizer off the back here. Yeah. You can see how it goes in and out. I actually felt it when I was riding too. I could feel. That's what she said. <laughs> I mean, the front end was pretty stable. Also, uh, purpose built shift linkage. It's your fuel on off here. What do we, did we say that has the McKinney, the McKinney 48? Huge carburetor, huge. Look at the size of this thing. I feel like I watched this gas gauge move a lot. <laughs> uh, this is the sport in the thrashing OG two into one with a removable baffle exhaust. These foot pegs really, really lock you in when you're riding. Nice dirt bike style two finger levers up here. Yeah, and obviously, uh, eight in, eight obviously inch. he uses this bike as a stunt bike. Yeah, you know, so. eight-inch Bun King risers with the thrashing aggressive mid bends, thrashing uh, riser clamps. What I've been noticing too, as I walked around the bike more, he just doesn't show, he doesn't skimp out. Even like all the hardware is all ARP hardware. Like nothing has been skimped at all on this bike. Yeah, nothing. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. Just one of the most recent upgrades here was the track swing arm. That was a huge project, but it, apparently that changed a lot with the bike as well. You don't want to lift up, feel up in here. There's all burnt up rubber <laughs> stuff. Guys, can we just talk about how absolutely hot it is today? So it's going to be 96 today. The humidity, it's like you can't even breathe out here right now. So I'm, I feel like I'm melting. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of like, how we feel so and i don't know if you can see how hot we are yeah, but sweating. we're hot I'm sweating. <laughs> as you can see there's the tmf chain drive conversion keep snapping belts from 130 horsepower it's going to be a problem so mm -hmm. also it has uh the daytona twin tech uh programmable ignition on it so yes it just bounces off a rev limiter and enjoys it all day long <laughs> <laughs> big bear choppers front and rear motor mounts so one thing i noticed you'll see me talk about it, when you're riding it, it just shakes you. It has no compensator in it. It's been deleted. A welded crank. It, it, this bike is the real deal when you're riding it. It is the real deal. It just keeps rolling. Fuck, it's crazy. It really is crazy. I'm addicted. 
Tanya, I think we're gonna build a big motor next. I don't know how he doesn't ride with mirrors. I'm still, still on that. Without mirrors, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Woo. He approves. I think the seat I put on my Dyna might be a tad more comfortable than this one. But this is definitely grippy. Nice. See how it does on big turns, big sweepers here. Yeah, see this is nice. I feel like you can just like lean over and start dragging knee with it. You can definitely feel that everything is all solidly mounted because it really does, it shakes you pretty good. It'll put your hands to sleep. Suspension is so nice. It just soaks it up, but it's, so, it's stiff enough where the bike just handles. It doesn't have that crazy obnoxious weight transfer when you get on it. I love this, the positioning of it. I mean, the way it kind of like just sit like you're like a dirt bike on it yeah and it, it handles like a street bike you'll you'll definitely hear me say that in the ride <laughs> it just flops over beautiful beautiful bike i'm obsessed with this color i can't get over it yeah. i mean i know we all we always have black harleys and stuff but there really is so many cool colors like jody's orange orange fat boy yeah. uh he has uh i believe he does have a nice eagle light up front that's the only uh, lighting on this bike. <laughs> <laughs> Who tries to do this in a dress, you know? Who, Who tries to do this in a dress? <laughs> it's just because I'm so obsessed with motorcycles. I can't even. Yeah, good thing that this thing has the I barely the bunking the bunking uh, crash bar and the bunking uh, shock. Uh, sliders there they are coming isn't it a perfect riding position yeah. I'm telling you when you ride our Dyna you're gonna know now what I'm talking about there you go. Um, as you can see guys a lot of our parts actually came from this bike originally yeah and leftovers, leftover yeah. Parts. stuff yeah. that he's changed out for different stuff right, so, exactly. so that's what we do we swap work I mean he gave me some parts I helped him out with a nice yeah. detail one hand washes the other. Yeah. It's the way it works in the motorcycle yeah, community. Absolutely, and friends too. You know, when you when you're friends with people, you don't you don't want to ask for money, nor do you want to pay somebody, yep. especially when they're friends. So it works out. All right, guys. So we hope you loved this video today. It was a short, quick one for you. Yep. Um, make sure you check out our merch up in the corner. Yep, that way, baby. <laughs> that way. <laughs> and as always, stay tuned for the next one. Jesus. Oh my god. This lifts the front wheel off the ground. <laughs> Don't think the neighbors like me much. <laughs> <laughs>